Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your DJ for the night. DJ Meta Tauta. Get ready. Get ready to pray. Your Savior. Your God. He, Jesus.
after presentation. I know you gonna dig this. DJ Meta Tauta.
blessed. Sing Save the children. And we're all very serious about that. Because we're expecting the children to save us all. But how can they save us if they don't even have any examples? Well, what kind of examples, preacher? Examples of leadership, love, peace, joy, and harmony. Those examples of caring and sharing. See, we must break those generational curses that plague our families and communities. They must know that knowledge is power and wisdom is gaining understanding. The Bible says, train up a child in the way they should go. And when they become old, they shall not depart from it. I always hear us preaching that famous slogan, each one teach one. But are we really doing our best to be effective in the lives of our children? Only God can save our souls! For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pl- 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 pleases the Lord. My God! Have, have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. For it is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret. Six million years to die. Choose one. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible. For it is light that makes everything visible. This is why it is said, wake up, O sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Exposed. We have you surrounded. Come up with your hands up. The fruitless deeds of darkness. Be very careful then how you live. Not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Children of light, wake up, O sleeper. Christ will shine on you. Do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Ephesians 5, 8 through 17. Thank you. 